Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I want to share an update with the DJI SDK and be sure to uh, subscribe to the playlist. I've been sharing a lot of uh, DJI SDK information recently. And this one is something I've been working on for the past, I'd say, year, just on and off, trying to get access to the uh, video feed from the DJI aircraft. And the purpose would be to take the image frame and do something with it, some sort of object detection or recognition. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate an addition I made to the Swift version of the mobile SDK. All of this will be in GitHub. And what it does is uses the video feed to grab a frame and then detect a QR code. So let me just start off with a quick demonstration. This is the sample app that I was running. I was using my Spark, unfortunately, this doesn't work with Mavic Mini yet. I don't know if there's a bug in the SDK or uh, Mavic Mini just doesn't support this in the firmware yet. But what we'll do is go ahead and run this recording from my phone and we'll select image detector. And what I have is the video feed showing up. I'll pause it real quick. And what I've done is printed uh, three QR codes of different sizes, just trying to see if we can recognize them and uh, be able to display the message encoded in that QR code on the screen. Now, you'll notice that there are these other uh, codes known as Aruco markers on my garage door. Just ignore those. Those will be ultimately what I want to be able to read, but uh, the QR code functionality is built into iOS. I'm using what's known as Core Image Detector and from that you can detect QR codes, faces, uh, rectangles, and text. You can see here that I have to get uh, pretty close to be able to scan. If you think about the use case for QR codes, it's generally scanning something from your phone where you can get that scanner up really close to uh, read that image. So here's a smaller one that I have to get pretty close to, to Spark, which is hovering in the air. Uh, to read that code. So once again, this is using the CI detector. We'll cover that in a minute. But my hope is that uh, we can use some OpenCV Aruco markers to be able to combine this capability with virtual sticks. That would allow us to uh, do some indoor positioning and navigation uh, without having to rely on GPS. Let me briefly dive into the app and some of the code just uh, to highlight uh, some of the things that I learned in this process and hopefully uh, you guys can learn from that, do some more work, make it better. This is still a bit buggy, uh, resource intensive. It's obviously relying on iOS hardware to be able to do the feature detection from the uh, video feed. So I'm, I'll go ahead and click open and I've added this image detector view controller in this table view. That'll launch us into the UI. Just ignore this little green square. I will in the future update it so that it puts a bounding box around the QR code or face whatever we decide to detect. The storyboard is pretty simple for this. Let me go to image detector. Basically what we have is our main view with an FPV view and then a label. So the FPV view is what uh, displays the video feed. Now, having worked with the SDK for several years now, the ability to get the video from the aircraft into a UI view, the video feed, is pretty straightforward. If we go down here to video feed, this is where we receive the data, create a video buffer, and then we push it onto the video previewer. So that's what we actually get to see. Now, the challenge that I had was figuring out how can you actually get those frames and, and process them? And there's a lot of uh, different conversation in the community. I had to look through a lot of uh, repositories and various code examples, but the magic happens with this video frame processor, which is part of the SDK. This is in DJI Stream Common. And by implementing that, there is this delegate method known as video process frame. 
this gets called and passed this video frame YUV structure. We'll just take a quick look at this and I'm by no means an expert here, but this is a color encoding uh, with the necessary information encoded into it. And one of the key methods is this create pixel buffer. And it takes that video frame YUV, does a bunch of processing, then it returns a buffer where we can create an image and do the detection. I'll point out that I have a link to the Stack Overflow article that goes into a bit of detail. That buffer is created. Uh, we create a core image from it, and then we just go and we do uh, feature detection. So our detector in this case, I have defined as a CI detector type QR code. But if we take a look at that, uh, there's the typeface, rectangle, text. So with a relatively small amount of work, like being able to change that detector type, we could do face detection. Uh, text detection, all of that. So we enumerate the codes, we update the label that I showed in the storyboard with the message in that QR code. I really can't stress enough how excited I am to be able to uh, get that raw frame data and being able to operate on it. So that would allow us to, in the future, hopefully integrate OpenCV, where, as I mentioned, we could do the Aruco marker detection or some more advanced uh, CV processing. So I just wanted to share that update with the SDK. I'm hopeful that uh, Mavic Mini will support this in the near future, and this combined with virtual sticks could lead to some uh, very interesting applications. This code is in GitHub. I'll put a link to it below. And let me reiterate the use case of scanning QR codes with a drone isn't the best one out there, but I wanted to use this as an example of being able to receive that video frame data, run it through iOS uh, CI detector. I'm fairly certain that this is uh, feasible on Android. I'm going to look into that in the near future, but if you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.